Imagine setting up a program on your computer and silently in the background, day after day, it pays you money while you sleep. Well, that's the beauty of blockchain technology. It's created all types of opportunities for everyday people to earn passive income. And one of these ways is by running blockchain networks, by operating your own node. And in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how to make money by running blockchain nodes as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to get a massive leg up on everything that I'm showing you in this video today, then I can show you how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish so that you can increase your earning potential over at dappadiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about how to make money with blockchain nodes. So let me set the stage for this. When most people think of running their own nodes, they're usually thinking about like cryptocurrency mining, especially in the case of Bitcoin. You know, that was one of the earliest opportunities to make passive income with blockchain nodes. So basically, you know, Bitcoin is a blockchain that's made up of a bunch of computers that all talk to one another. And you could be one of these computers or a miner in this case that helps process transactions that are coming into the blockchain and then mine Bitcoins or get new Bitcoins that are created whenever those transactions go through. Now, the opportunity for Bitcoin mining is largely passed for most everyday people but there's still all different types of opportunities to run nodes in the blockchain space, as you'll see in this video. And they fall into several different categories based on how you make money. And I'm gonna talk about each of those in these three sections. All right, so way number one is to become a node operator for a new blockchain network. So if you go to any cryptocurrency price website like coincoco.com, you're going to see hundreds, if not thousands of different cryptocurrencies here. And some of these are actual blockchain networks where they have their own unique cryptocurrency to pay transaction fees. They might do things like smart contracts that you can put applications on the chain. And all these networks have computers lying underneath that you can participate in running notes. But one of the best opportunities is to get in on new blockchain networks that are going to launch and go live, but aren't live yet. So one recent example of this was Celestia. So this is a new network that's gained a ton of traction in the past six months or so. And people who who went in on Celestia early and became validators on the test net before it went live got up to $100,000 in airdrop earnings. And that's not the only one. We've seen lots of opportunities like this in the past. You know, people in Avalanche got multiple six figures. Moonbeam got up to 80,000. And Solana even got almost like 150,000 at the peak. So those opportunities, unfortunately, are in the rearview mirror. But how can you try to find one of these opportunities now before they go live? Well, again, the whole idea is to essentially find blockchain networks that haven't launched yet. They haven't gone to their main net and you run the network on a test network where they're trying things out and getting things fixed. And these are called incentivized test networks because they want other people to come in from the outside to participate in this and help get the chain ready for launch. So you can go to a website like nose.guru, okay? And you can actually look at the uh, test nets tab and it will show you lots of different opportunities like this. You can click on the test nets portal and you can look at all the different test nets that are listed here. Now, a bonus tip for this, in order to get you know selected to be a validator on incentivized test network, one thing you can do is increase your value proposition by becoming an evangelist. This basically means somebody who believes in the network and is willing to promote it. In this case, you're providing multiple values to the protocol, one, running the infrastructure, and number two, you know, helping bring other people in. And so if you want to increase your odds as being accepted as an evangelist, then at a minimum, you should present yourself in a professional manner. It's probably good to have a personal website to add some trust with good branding and also some type of social media presence to prove that you can actually help convince other people to come onto the network. All right, so how do you actually make money off of this type of thing? Because with test nets, there's no real cryptocurrency involved. The whole idea is it's a place where the cryptocurrency is worthless. You're just running the validator software to make sure everything works fine, but then that eventually gets converted into the main net where the cryptocurrency is actually worth something for real. So there is a little bit of risk associated with this in the sense that, you know, an incentivized test net, there's a whole sort of, you know, promise of getting some type of airdrop in the future whenever the chain goes live. And that's where you make your money. It's not going to be instant. It's going to be whenever that main chain launches. And whenever you're looking at test networks, you probably shouldn't, you know, pick all these indiscriminately. You should look at the ones that you think have a long-term chance of success and hopefully get that airdrop payday in the future. But when you do run on a test network, you can convert over to a mainnet validator where you can earn passive income on a consistent basis. And I'll talk about that here in a second. But that brings me to point number two, which is another way to earn passive income. And that's through staking pools. Okay. So what is that? Well, essentially, um, if you have a blockchain like Ethereum, you know, it's a proof of state blockchain, meaning there's no miners. Okay. And so there's validators who lock up their ether into a computer to help run the network. Okay. 
And that requires 32 ETH in order to stake, which is too much for most people. Either they don't have the money to do it, or number two, they might have the money and just don't want a hassle of running you know, a computer like this and locking up their, their funds into the network. So that's where services like Rocket Pool come into play, where you can stake a smaller amount of Ether uh, or even a large amount of Ether into their app, which is powered by smart contracts, where they actually run validators on the back end and they pay out those rewards to the users plus some Rocket Pool tokens. And they also have liquid staking where you can get a token back and go use it in DeFi. So the beauty of this is that Rocket Pool is decentralized. So anybody can actually run a Rocket Pool node to help facilitate this process. So that's one opportunity is to do things like running rocket pool nodes or other liquid staking services or even restaking. So how do you do this? Well, it does require some ETH of your own in order to stake. So there does require a little bit of capital up front, but it's not the full 32 Ether. You can stake with a smaller amount. And so that's step number one is to have a little bit of Ether to start staking. But then the next step is to actually set up a rocket pool node. And you can see exactly how to do that in Rocket Pool's website. They'll walk you through what is a validator know, how to help secure Ethereum with the Rocket Pool protocol, and how to earn more. Because this will actually earn more money than liquid staking through Rocket Pool or just solo staking directly on top of the Ethereum network because you're going to get paid a higher APR. Because you'll also be getting Rocket Pool tokens and passive income in addition to the ETH. And not just from yours, but from the other people that are staking with you when you run your validator in the background. And so Rocket Pool is just one example of some type of blockchain decentralized service where you can run you know, a node to help maintain the network, but also earn passive income in a different way from just staking directly on the network. And there's lots of other opportunities just like this. Okay, you're seeing things like Eigenlayer, which I've made videos on my channel about doing restaking. You can run a node that way. You can do it for decentralized Oracle protocols who need payments in order to provide data to the blockchain. These are just a few opportunities sort of in this category. All right, so way number three to earn passive income by running a node is to actually run a full node on a main network. Now, there's lots of pros and cons associated with this. In terms of pros, it can be just set it and forget it consistent passive income where you're literally just running a machine or a computer and it's paying you out every single day. You can do this with the strategy I talked about before. Like if you get on an incentivized test net, you become an evangelist, you get the airdrop and you're actually selected to become you know, a mainnet validator, like in the case of Celestia that I talked about before, that could be a great opportunity. You can also do this now by jumping on any decentralized network like Ethereum and running a full validator node there. Obviously, the downside is you're going to need some 32 Ether in order to do that, but that can be highly profitable if you have that kind of capital sitting around. Now, what are some downsides with this? So if you're actually participating in running a major network like this, there's a significant amount of responsibility. You have to make sure that your node has you know, good uptime, you have to be able to monitor it and you have to have the technical sophistication to be able to set one of these up. But if you're a developer and you do what I teach you on this channel, then, you know, you're going to have a huge edge in overcoming that technical hurdle that most people are just not going to be able to get across. All right. So if you want to take action on exactly what I'm talking about in this video today, what are some resources that you can use to get started? Well, number one is if you're actually going to run a node, you have to make a decision on whether you're going to do that on your own hardware, like wherever you live or in an office somewhere, or whether you can do it in the cloud with a VPS. So if you want a VPS, you can use something like Contabo. They've got pretty cheap VPSs that you can use on you know, a several month leases. It's going to be a lot cheaper than doing something like AWS or Google Cloud Compute. And if you want a list of different test networks to check out where you become an incentivized validator, you can check nodes.guru on the test nets tab for that. And finally, if you want to look up into the technical documentation on how to set up a node uh, with Rocket Pool, you can just go to Rocket Pool's website, click on their documentation, and they'll have the getting started that'll show you everything you need in order to set this up. And even if you decide not to do this for real, as a developer, this is a great exercise to go through in running blockchain infrastructure. You know, doing blockchain infrastructure is one of the most in-demand skills in the industry for blockchain developers. So this is a win either way. And finally, of course, you're going to need some technical knowledge in order to pull this off. But again, if you're a subscriber to this channel, you do what I teach you on here that you're going to have a huge, massive leg up in doing this. And if you're not a developer yet or you're trying to become one, then make sure you smash the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. I've got plenty of free courses on my YouTube homepage. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you went to the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you become a blockchain master step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really ought to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dab University.